Good morning, you guys. Man, is it cold out today. It's about 25 degrees outside right now. I'm just in here waxing some more frames, as usual, seems like. I'm always in here doing something. But I just wanted to make a video and kind of give you guys a little bit of an opinion of mine. Uh, I'm seeing so many beekeepers out there are in a panic over what's going on with uh, the bee colonies across the U.S. Uh, very little is known on the situation. It's kind of resembling what happened back in 06 or 07. 08 somewhere in that area with the what they labeled as the colony crash disorder um, all I have is an opinion on it and I'm seeing a whole lot of beekeepers are giving their opinions on it but I'm seeing a whole lot of beekeepers are given what is their opinion and uh, kind of calling it a fact I think that's a big problem uh, the fact is nobody knows that's the real fact nobody knows what's causing all these massive hive losses mainly in commercial uh, beekeeping colonies I think we really need to be careful on what kind of information that you know we're sharing with the audience and this beekeeping community the only thing that's really bad right now is sharing a bunch of information that's not accurate and i mean i'm i'm seeing beekeepers in these facebook groups and stuff i'm on and beekeepers a lot of them all over YouTube are sharing their opinions and uh, they're kind of treating it as a fact and we really we need to cut that stuff out I'm seeing a lot of people you know they're almost ready to give up beekeeping because of what's going on and I think that's <laughs> I think it's a big mistake to be pushing information that nobody knows about based on opinions <clears throat> I think it's doing more harm than good to the community man it's hard to wax frames when it's so cold out that stuff dries dries up quick <clears throat> good looking frame of wax ready for bees to draw I personally as of right now haven't haven't taken any losses in uh, any of my colonies yet of course we're, we've got a major cold spell coming it's supposed to be back down the single digits here uh, I think midway next week is when it's supposed to get cold real bad cold again here in Kentucky but uh, I mean everybody is gonna usually take some kind of a loss so you know that that's nothing to be concerned about if you're taking major losses what the commercial guys are taking then that's when you need to start worrying I mean these these guys are they're losing 75 80 percent of, of their entire operation and that that's terrible I can't I can't imagine that some of them would be able to bounce back from something like that
I think the commercial beekeepers biggest issue that they have to deal with are those those sprays pesticides insecticides and herbicides and everything that these bees are taking taking in bringing that stuff back home you know that crap it gets stored in that comb basically i mean you know that that wax is that is a well-known fact that that wax will contain and hold you know that that nasty crap that people are spraying on their their plants and uh that stuff you know a lot of beekeepers they change and rotate their combs out every seven or eight years now don't take this as a fact because i'd just be kind of crawfishing on what i was just saying about beekeepers opinions this is just my opinion and my opinion alone but i think as far as just overall colony health i think it would be better if beekeepers that are pollinating and specifically pollinating i think if they would rotate their combs out ever three or four years instead of ever seven eight or nine years that i think they would definitely see uh, a lot better health in their colonies but that's not really the the topic i was wanting to touch on today i just wanted to jump on and hopefully some of these guys and, and i've seen it all over the place i'm not pointing fingers at anyone in particular but just be careful with what you're sharing in your videos and stuff you're you're potentially doing more harm than you are good there's a lot of people that's wanting to get into beekeeping and when they're seeing beekeepers all over facebook and youtube saying that they know what the problem is and that people need to do this and do that then i think that's kind of pushing them away from even getting into the hobby <clears throat> we need more beekeepers and we need people uh, taking good care of their bees and with the knowledge to be able to do so and we're not going to get that you know in this industry if we're pushing people away from it so you know that's my two cents on this whole ordeal that's going on uh jason christman jcb's he's he released a video the other day that i thought was the perfect perfect thing uh to post and he shared what his opinion on it was what which i thought was uh a really good video and i thought his opinion made a whole lot of sense and he was talking about the possibility of the bird flu could be uh, getting getting bees infected. I think that's something that they should look into. But he asked uh, his audience to jump on there and share their opinions. You know that those are the kind of beekeepers that you want to watch and listen and pay attention to. They're the ones that's trying to to help people and not claiming to know all the information on things going on so i want to give jason christman big props on that uh, but i'm just going to sit here and continue waxing frames and preparing for what's hopefully going to end up being a good spring uh, you guys uh, just keep an eye on your bees during this cold and make sure they got food best you can help them when you can and you guys have a good weekend and i'll catch you on the next one thanks for watching